What's up everybody? Welcome back to Make It Custom. I'm Carl Fisher. I got Brent with me and we are headed to Kamloops. <laughs> Half-Ass Customs, if you don't already know what you better, definitely follow us channel. And uh, we are on this massive road trip. We are in the ramp truck right now that we built and headed to Kamloops to Fast Cut CNC. Go get him a table and then uh, off to Manitoba. Really excited. Thanks for coming. Let's do this. Okay, <clears throat> well, we've got some news for you. Um, I don't know if you heard that again, but what is happening is uh, unfortunate. Basically, this is this is the loadout. So we had uh, we tried to troubleshoot this squeaking issue. It is not a belt, it is um, drivetrain. We took the belt off and it is still horribly shrieking, uh, which means that there's metal on metal in the motor or the trans. And um, that's kind of where we're at. So uh, thinking trans. <laughs> yeah, we're thinking trans because nothing Definitely in the motor. Coming from the back. Yeah, so it could have been my bad. I, it could have been something that I did like you know, maybe I ran it low on something, like low on tranny fluid and it was running the shop. Like, we don't know, but there are some unknowns. The transmission is making shrieking noises and- It's got the heck of a squeak to it. It's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We have decisions to make right now. See, it's like, yeah, wasn't shrieking and now- It's definitely not a belt. Um, it's not getting better, it's getting louder. Yeah, so under load, not under load, things, I'm gonna shut it off, hold on. So, uh, oh God, it's so bad. Uh, <laughs> it drives fine and it feels good. Like, I'm very happy with like how this truck is doing as far as uh, rolling around and hauling this load and, and taking us for lunch and stuff, you know? Um, <laughs> it's great at, great at taking dress for lunch you know? <laughs> but uh i think right now we're gonna call it because um for like 4500 kilometers without like if we were gonna go dead straight and we're taking tons of detours we're gonna be up over like five six thousand kilometers on this trip and um this is a big heavy truck that i don't think would be fun to tow if something happened or when something happens because in my personal experience and maybe in Brent's <laughs> personal experience um, metal on metal shrieking noises although still working fine now I don't think that's a very long-lived problem thinking this, like maybe the pump on the transmission or something but it's I don't think it's something we can fix on the side of the road that's kind of no I mean I'm pretty sure pretty sure Brent could fix it on the side of the road <laughs> it was like it was weld a bearing out of some coat hangers and battery 12 yeah no, no, i'm just joking. but yeah there's no freaking way that we're gonna drive this thing 6000 k and uh, i'm totally okay with that like i know that you guys are bummed you're not gonna see it cruising across the prairies and stuff but look we did exactly what we came to do three four days this truck is done it's shakedown run it's awesome we could not have known about the transmission totally unforeseen we are still gonna go on this road trip. The only difference is we're gonna take my 2011 GMC and uh, my 18 foot car trailer. We're gonna go to Fast Cut. We're still gonna go get the uh, the table. We're still gonna go, but we've got a few cool spots to hit on the way that are gonna be a lot of fun and uh, some people to meet we have never met before and we're just gonna like, I don't know, we're gonna see how it is. It's gonna be a wicked road trip. Road trips are awesome anyway. And like, 
it's gonna be fun so um, stick with us because it's gonna be badass we're gonna put this truck away um, well, I'll come turn turn and burn and uh, yeah switch it up. <laughs> yeah so we're gonna go set up the other rig we're already late and uh, we're trying to burn up to Kamloops today it's gonna be like four or five hour drive kind of thing maybe less in the 2011 but um, sorry for the news Tell me in the comments what you think Shrieking Transmissions, uh, <laughs> what, what is that? Is that a little gremlin inside just like dying because it's getting too hot in there? Or is it because there's a pump that's seizing? Or or maybe it's maybe it's totally nothing, I don't know. I'm leading the pump. Yeah. Brent says pump. <laughs> I don't know, so I can go with Brent. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get her back home. I'm just running out of time to test things, I think. Yeah, we're running out of time. So, uh, anyway, whatever. This is cars. Welcome. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna go back, get this thing off the side of the road. It's like I say, it's totally fine. It still works and runs and drives. It's just horrible shrieking that uh, this entire time we thought was uh, belt, and it's just getting worse and worse. And it's definitely not belt because yeah, we took we the belt can, off. So I think we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. We're gonna go get the other truck. And we're going to hit the road. All right, well, we are here at uh, Vulture's Garage. If you've seen the little documentary that uh, was made on, uh, it's called Metal Reborn. It was on my hot rod pickup truck that we were trying to bring here. Check that out, it's on the channel. Um, you can find it if you scroll down a little bit. This is Vulture's Garage. It's on the way to Cash Creek. We're kind of taking the scenic route on our way to Fast Cut right now. There's not a lot of hills where Brent's from, so uh, we're trying to, try to show him what kind of hills we got out here. <laughs> Anyway, Jeff uh, has Vulture's Garage out here. If you're, if you're ever driving the old Highway 1 in British Columbia and you're into the old cars, this is a cool place to stop. Super nice guy. Tons of projects. Um, it's just really neat walking around here, so I thought Brent would find it to be a pretty cool spot. Um, I mean, he's just kind of got everything, like the signage, the way that he's, like, you know, made the buildings look all cool. Like, this place is deadly. Like, uh, I would want to live here, you know? Look at this. Look at all this. This right here, yes. All of this, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Cab over, cool old Ford cab over. I love this little teardrop trailer too. I mean, it's not even a real teardrop, but it's like homemade, obviously, and aluminum, and it's just got a cool shape. Like somebody put a lot of time and effort into that, right? Like. Before shrinker stretchers, how did they turn flanges? Well, you just do the pie cut shrink. That's it. <laughs> it is cool though. I don't know. I don't know why I like stuff that's like junk. It's because it can be fixed and it can be cool again. Like even stuff like this where, you know, at some point this thing was a hot rod. It had cool interior made, bunch of gauges and stuff. Like that's the type of stuff that, I don't know. Cars got history if cars could talk, right? So uh, yeah, this is Vulture's Garage. Definitely stop in. If you ever get the chance, you won't be disappointed. There'll be a dog greeting you with every toy that they have, trying to get you to uh, throw it for them. You want me to throw it? No, no. Ah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna continue on. This is Jeff. Thank you very much, Jeff. Definitely, definitely check him out. Uh, I didn't actually go in there yet. Yeah, okay, let's go check out this Merc. Let's check out this Merc. Oh, is that a, uh, what year is that? 50? 51. 51. It's on another chassis, so. Cool. Epic, man. What chassis is it? Uh, it's a, what's this? 79 Parisian. Oh, okay. So, like, it's a Jeep T-body. 
Yeah. You Peabody get, chassis. You get the old, it's like a 98 or a Park Avenue, they're perfect wheelbase. Okay. This one was two inches short. I did a Cadillac, which is two inches the other way, so. Okay. So a Park Avenue is bang on. Bang on, yeah. Really? Huh. <laughs> this one here, I just hope that done. That's the box for it there. You cool. Oh, look at that. All that fun stuff. Here's the 4x4. Four four. I love these old trucks, man. Yeah. They're just classic. You, you can get all the parts for them. You can actually keep these ones on the road relatively easily because exactly. you can get everything, right? That's going to be a good truck. Very cool. So get the box done. There's a little store here, too. You got to check out all the antiques. Too cool. All right, well, I think we're gonna keep on rolling. Thanks again, Jeff, appreciate you. Jeff. Rolling out. Cash Creek next. Historic Highway 1. <laughs> Bates Motel. <laughs> Brent Hathas. <laughs> All right, good morning, everybody. We're on our way to Fast Cut right now. We just woke up in Kamloops. We're gonna go pick up Brent's table. Really excited to uh, go see Russ again, see the shop, and get Brent a uh, cool new table. Nice to meet you, dude. See, it's stuffed in LS in this thing? Yeah. Dude. Look at this fancy push button thing in my dingers. Yo. Do you think that uh, you've, like, you know, pumped up the horsepower at all from, Just like, what a, a factory? Bit. Just a little bit. Me and my buddies, we started a club called the Double or Nothing Club. You oh, yeah. Double the displacement or double the horsepower. <laughs> or not. About or your double own. the factory horsepower and uh, <laughs> double the. Uh, Double the cylinders. Too good. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna go for a ride in Matt's truck. <laughs> Check this thing out. Love hairy vehicles. Oh, seatbelt's a good thing. This is yeah. fast. <laughs> You almost can't tell which side's the cutting top, right? Like it's, when the draws is you have perfect cut speed like that? Yeah, it's uh, so clean. But air, we have really good air here. And that's a huge part of it, yeah. is that good air. <laughs> oh, that's some good air! <laughs> Breathe it in! <laughs> 
All right, well, I'm dipping out just for a second because we weren't planning on taking this truck on this road trip. I'm gonna go grab uh, a bit of an oil change. And I don't think I really need to do anything else. Check tranny fluid, tire pressure. I got a low tire light going on. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. Brent's gonna be uh, playing video games back there with his uh, fancy new table. And we'll come back to meet a couple other people that are um, pretty cool, actually. I think uh, Rhea the Welder, she's on Instagram. R-I-A the Welder. She's, uh, she makes really cool, artistic, badass metal, um, like sissy bars and like motorcycle stuff. She's got a fast cut table. And then uh, J-Dub, if you guys watch uh, Rust Valley Restores, it's like a local TV show here. Um, but look at... 56 Chevy, pretty cool. Um, anyway, yeah, Russ Valley Restores is a local TV show here, and Jay is on that, and so he's coming out too. He builds cool cars and stuff, and, and that's, we'll chat with him a little bit when I get back. Oh, I just came back from an oil change. Man, guess my oil pan's leaking. This truck has not had many kilometers on it, like a half a tank, or I guess a tank now. But uh, since an oil change, there was no oil on the dipstick. We're back at Fast Cut now. I'm gonna go uh, see how these boys are doing. Where's, where's your uh, beast you've been working on? Who brought the riffraff here? Right? <laughs> You guys haven't seen this thing it's been on tv it's like a built on rust valley stores dubs customs game stubs this is the wild stuff that he comes up with look at this cantilever airbags i'm getting uh i'm getting some uh spider web vibes you know this thing is just wild man how many spools of welding wire oh god <laughs> i don't even know lots yeah. lots i can tell you one thing that i know for sure though if I would have had a fast cut CNC table, <laughs> I could have saved myself weeks on yeah. all the doubler plates. Well, you do now. Yeah. Well, you, tor you torch those out by hand? Oh, everything's by hand, bud. <laughs> but you got to start somewhere. It's all by hand when you start, right? Yeah, no doubt. And if you look at all the spots where, you know, everything was cut by hand. You know, if you look at this, for example, this year I went to Value Village and it's like 16 spoons and a vegetable steamer. No kidding. And I built this fly and you know, it's like it was six hours or something like that, but that's all spoons and these are the handles. Dang. You know, and then that's a vegetable steamer. <laughs> that's cool, that's, man. I think, um, I think one of my favorite features is the headlight buckets. You know, like I looked for original, like some buckets for a long time and I couldn't find any. Buckets oh, usually but, hold water. Yeah. Well, what are you, what are you, <laughs> these. Dual cantilever front suspension. Yeah, I saw that, man. That's I saw sick, that. Eh? Yeah. How can I make this more work times eight? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that's right. But this is all, this is funny because I created this as all off of my floor jack in my shop. It's like the same design, but it's like a floor jack upside down. Yeah. You lift a car up, your base stays level, right? So I did all the same geometry on that, flipped it upside down, and made it all function. Now, I know this stuff looks crazy and, and complicated because it is. This is not regular cantilever front suspension, okay? Regular cantilevers would have like three pivot points, right? You have your center pivot, you got your hydraulic, your airbag, and then you got your shock or your, you know, heim joints going down to your suspension. He's got a four link happening here so that the airbag top actually stays level because an airbag doesn't have any structure holding itself like this. So he's got pivot, 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 underneath there, pivot. So those are the four links, one, two, three, four for just that. And then he also has another cantilever classic three link setup. There, there's a lot of work in this thing. Oh yeah. Link, 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 link. I gotta do, well, then, I gotta do bushings. You know, okay, forty-two find bushings. Find looking upper lower A arms. You yeah. can't. Yeah. You gotta build them, right? So all hand built, all you know. Boy, again, could have used that CNC table. I tell you. All right, guys, we're going for a ride in the Widowmaker, Mr. Uh, J Dub. All right, one and only, buddy.
we, uh, we just left Fast Cut. We are on the road. We've actually been on the road for a couple hours now, but heading out of town on our way east uh, towards Edmonton. It's kind of like northeast from where we were at. We've got a couple stops out that way we're hoping to make happen. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be cruising through the beautiful BC for the next little while. So I'll throw a couple of time lapses on, maybe show you guys how beautiful it is out here. And uh, we'll see the difference when we cross into some other prairies that are equally beautiful <laughs> in different ways. <laughs> some are a little flatter than others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really handy though if you want to get good gas mileage. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Stopped in uh, Vailmont, get some grub, a little A and W for today. <laughs> I don't know how long we've been driving. Oh, gotcha. uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I've been passenger princess all day and that was probably my job. <laughs> 7.30. <laughs> We're gonna have a burger. Let's get back on the road, see how far we get tonight. We're gonna go see John tomorrow. Uh, just a friend of a friend that has a bunch of cool stuff to look at, so we'll take you there and see how it goes. We are done driving for the day. We have found a travel lodge close to Spruce Grove-ish. That means we're in Berna, boys. Uh, <laughs> can you tell from all the pickup trucks around me right now? <laughs> pickup truck, pickup truck, pickup truck. Anyway, um, the plan is tomorrow to wake up, get some breakfast, post some videos, and roll out to Saskatoon. Saskatoon, we're gonna go meet John tomorrow, if all goes well, and then burn to Manitoba. Good night. Good morning, everybody. We are in Spruce Grove, Alberta. We are getting ready to uh, start driving towards Saskatoon this morning to go see John. Uh, John's a friend of a friend of mine that um, I've never met and has some cool stuff for us to look at, so we're gonna do a bit of that. Um, oh. Yes, that button doesn't work on my truck, <laughs> along with many other things. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day today. Did you see the moose that we saw? Did you see the moose? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, Brent's showing me the ropes on my drone, so I'm, uh, I'm getting a little geeky with the drone this day. <laughs> we did some like panoramic shots around stuff and flybys and... No crashes yet, wish me luck, but uh, we're gonna head on the road, start heading towards Saskatoon. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Our flappy project. <laughs> uh, yeah, tarps don't like wind. Who knew? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever heard of that before. Because <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I see a bit of blue. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, to some people, this is crow. There's something really satisfying about duct tape, though. I don't know what it is. There was a giant hole here, that's why we're going hard. <laughs> uh, just like, we've got like a half a roll right here. <laughs> These are little ones. Do anything? We just happen to have a roll of tape? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. <laughs> Anywhere. Until we hit the highway. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I don't know what uh, what movie was it where Ace Ventura is like. Alrighty then, I have a package for you. He's trying to deliver a box. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And he's like kicking it all over the road. It's just like full of duct tape. He's whipping it around. I don't know if it's Ace Ventura, but it was definitely uh, what's his name? The actor there, Jim, Jim Carrey. Carrey. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm bad at naming actors, but. But it looks good. It looks good. I'm sorry, Russ. It doesn't look very good. <laughs> Still got plenty of duct tape. In case we get a flat tire or got to fix something else major. <laughs> Actually, apparently this is this is the only hill. <laughs> they call it the hill. <laughs> hey Brent, what's the last thing that goes through a bug's mind when it hits the windshield? <laughs> I probably know this one. <laughs> it's butt. All right, we just turned off the highway. We we're pretty close to John's place. Pretty excited to go check out what he's got. We'll show you around as soon as uh, we meet our new friend John. All right, we just met our, uh, our friends here, John and Bert, and they've been kind enough to give us the grand tour all access pass to this acreage of rusty gold. These guys are pretty cool. They, uh, they're really into Hemis, really into hot rods, and as much as they're into Hemi and hot rods, they are into gas pumps. These guys restore gas pumps like crazy. They've said they've done over 500 of them together. Um, so we're going to check out some of those, but they got a bunch of outbuildings that are opening up for us just to go have a look at all their cool stuff. And uh, we're really grateful for that. So we just love seeing this stuff, right? So let's uh, let's see what they got. No, I, I don't think I like any of this stuff. No, oh, it's kind of old, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, what is this all this old stuff in kinda here? Kind of crummy old stuff. Show us where all the new cars are at. Where's yeah, the plastic? I know. <laughs> this Chris Craft, man, is just incredible. Yeah, dude. I gotta get that. Oh, it's got uh, like a little flathead six in there. So oh, the four banger. Just a little egg beater. Oh, no way. Yeah. It's this is cruiser, right? beautiful, man. Seat six. Oh, So this yeah. is a 1937. Whoa. Called a dual hull runabout. A, oh, wow. A, a, a dual hull? Yeah. Runabout. Yeah, so it's, um, I guess they call that the seats. You see there's separate seats here and here. So there's like a three-seat bench and a three-seat bench kind of thing? Yeah. Beautiful red leather seats, hey? We took them out so the lace would get them. Is this, is this throttle or is this, um, is that timing? No, that's throttle. That is throttle. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. And if you guys are interested, I have one of these for free. No way. Yeah, I'm trying to give it away. Really? That's a good price. <laughs> it's the right price. <laughs> you bet it is. Oh boy, do you have to know how to do woodwork. Yeah, yeah, see, that's the scary thing for me is like in metal shop yeah. or in wood shop, I just only did metal stuff. Is it here? Yeah, it's one over here on the other side here. He took it apart. Oh, there it is. And he was restoring it and then he had a heart attack. So this, this is the same, same exact boat as that? Dual hull runabout. Is this the running Model A chassis that Bob told me about? Well, there's one of them there. Oh yeah? But there's another one in that garage and there's another one in here. Wow. Man, there's our little coops, supply coops, of coops. Yeah, Just a little supply. <laughs> Holy. Wow. Are, are, you, are you trying to like sell some of this stuff? Is that something you're doing? Okay, so we gathered this all up, about 100 cars, and then we got rid of the stuff that we're not yeah. doing. And we thought, okay, we'll keep this stuff for now. Right. And then we'll see how things go. Right. So, see, Bertie, he's 77, I'm 72. Right. How many years we got left? Right, yeah. I guess, yeah, maybe not, we won't be able to get to all of them. But no, no. They're... And we've got that deuce to do, and we've got that three window to do. Mm -hmm. We've got our own cars to do. That's four cars, that's four years. Yeah. So he's 81. Yeah. And I'm 76. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. How far do you go, eh? No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> the Hemi Shack. Yeah, the Hemi Shack. Hemi, Hemi, Hemi. <laughs> 
that. There's not, not much left in here. Couple here, couple there. But there's 18 all together somewhere. <laughs> all at the engine shop? Yeah. <laughs> you guys rock. That Thanks, John. Much. Thank you, Bert. <laughs> we already said our goodbyes that one was fake could you tell <laughs> all right we are out of here so i had such a great time at, at bird and john's they gave me this killer seat oh okay all right hand turns perfect we'll whip around we'll get back on the road and we're off to this guy's place with that, hopefully by tomorrow morning sometime. <laughs> All right, we had a wicked time at, uh, at John and Bert's place. Thank you, boys. That was an amazing tour. Such great hospitality. You guys got the coolest stuff and do some really great work. Um, man, I just can't think of any better way to uh, live, <laughs> live the life, you know? <laughs> like, you got your own junkyard there. You got every tool you could ever want and a bunch of Hemis. Like, what more do you want? Um, but anyway, it is kind of getting late for us. It is, uh, what is it, 6.30 or 7.30 or something like that? Just about 7.30. I Just think we got another eight hours to go or so. Okay, so eight plus eight is 16, which means at four in the morning? Cool. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, anyway, we're just gonna haul, haul ass to half ass right now. And, uh, you know, just switch drivers. We're just gonna get there. We, we can do that, it's not a big deal. Uh, worth, worth every second of it. <laughs> this passenger princess might not be the passenger princess the whole time. <laughs> anyway, we uh, there's not much to see until there, so we might stop a couple times before dark and just kind of show you what the prairies look like out here. And it's looking a lot like Alberta. Yeah, with, with less trees. All right, so Alberta's flat with trees. <laughs> Saskatchewan's flat with flat, it's and flat, yeah. one or two hills. You know. Okay. Uh, the trees are way out there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you at, uh, at Half Ass Customs. By the way, uh, if you want to see a little bit more of Bert and John's place, you're going to have to head over to the Make It Custom Unleashed channel and uh, you'll get to see a little bit more. And we talk, we talk quite a bit actually about uh, cars, Hemis, cool stuff. <laughs> Those are interesting dudes, so. Uh, Head on over, check it out. All right, here we are, made it to Brent's place. Really stoked to check this all out, get this table unloaded. Uh, we didn't quite make it to um, we didn't quite make it last night, so we stopped in Brandon a couple hours out of, uh, of Brent's place here and uh, made the rest of the drive this morning. So let's get this table unloaded. Table is all set up, so stoked. Everything went really smooth. We got uh, 12 gauge, fine cut. Uh, this is 45 amp. Cut's just unreal. Like this machine is so solid that it can go so fast to cut something and not 
jiggle around because it's kind of that solid, right? Just really, really well done piece of equipment. Many a many a time will be saved with this uh, unit in this shop. We're gonna do one more thing. Uh, he really wants to do this smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just to show how happy he is, because he never smiles, so he just wants to you know, make one out of metal so it's permanent. All right, I think we're gonna call that a wrap on the road trip to Fast Cut and, uh, and here to set up the machine. Both really had an awesome time going to meet those guys, hang out with the rest of the Fast Cut team over there. And um, we did have a couple little troubleshooting issues that were our own uh, kind of... <laughs> we forgot to look at something. <laughs> <laughs> it was very easy. And they are like, oh yeah, it's this. Boom, everything works perfect. So uh, super stoked, big thank you to these guys, Fast Cut CNC, um, again, KBC Tools as well, make it custom, all one word, all capital letters if you want a discount there, but um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, we had an awesome time, uh, we got a couple more days of hanging out here and uh, having some fun at half Ass Customs. If you have not yet, make sure you check out his channel, half Ass Customs, Brent is brilliant at building cars and making anything work under the sun, so uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next video. And uh, appreciate your support, everybody. Bye-bye.